Good morning. Uh, this is uh, a uh, photo or a video I wanted to make uh, about a Yale lock come off a combination or come off a uh, safe and uh, bought it on eBay and the guy uh, that I got off of he done a super nice job mounting it on plexiglass and uh, he used uh, this all rod you can probably see right there for lamps uh, to for the spacing there's uh, two uh, pieces of plexiglass one that the dial ring is mounted on and then the other one is the back of it and uh, he was nice enough to put the combination on the back so you didn't have to remember it but I initially bought it uh, wanted to do uh, safe manipulation I'd done some and uh, wanted to advance my knowledge a little bit and when I got this Yale lock I took uh, the back off to find the contact points and the contact points were quite a bit different than what the book uh, that I had uh, said they should be so we put it back together and uh, we decided not to try to do that because it had gears in the back and when you do the dial back and forth you would hear that gear noise instead of necessarily the contact points so I just left it the guy done a beautiful job of mounting it and stuff so I was going to keep it as a uh, showpiece item and uh, I've got the combination he uh, printed that on the back of the plexiglass so I thought I'd show the actual opening of this uh, uh, safe combination lock and the first uh, it's a left right type situation so we go left and the first number is 68 so we go past as once and we do it four times there is twice and third time coming up three and we stop on the fourth time and we'll hopefully get this thing to open up and there is 68 and we go back right to 89 uh, three times stop it on the third time there's once Uh, twice coming up and then the third time is coming up and we will actually post this video there's 89 I go back uh, left to 31 twice and it'll be on YouTube and I'm doing this for my son and his uh, account uh, thing is uh, J.M. Murdy, M-U-R-D-Y, and you can watch it on the video there, and we stop at 31, and then we go back to 47, is the last number of the combination, and when I bought it, I talked to the guy, and we actually had to hold a little pressure on the lock to get it to uh, actually open, and there it is uh, so anyway uh, it's a Yale lock it did not have a date on the front of it but it is an old lock I like old locks so it was a pleasure to uh, to videotape this and like I say I didn't mention any names but the guy that done this uh, putting this on plexiglass done an excellent job and he uh, used that all rod with the nuts and bolts and stuff and uh, done a super job so instead of cutting the back away to see the wheels with the gears in there, we decided just to leave it as a showpiece, and uh, that's what we got here. So uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more of uh, the old locks in, and I'll get them mounted, and we'll make some more videos if, if uh, you all like uh, this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll uh, see you down the road and maybe make another video of another, another safe lock. Thank you.